Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we're going to do a really cool VHS fast forward effect in HitFilm Express. All right, so before we get into this uh, effect, I want to just tell a real quick story about something that happened to me when I was in college. So I look at him and I say, dude, what's up with the monkey? Well, do you want fries with that? And George Lucas says, oh, I think Red Tails is the greatest film I've ever made. That's the reason that you would want to like this video and subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon for notification. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to this effect. So this effect is actually a lot easier than you'd think it would be. You're going to start with your footage and basically I just told a super long story uh, that was really long and boring but it doesn't matter because I was fast forwarding through it and I was only hitting those key things so I'm just going to drag this onto my editor timeline and then I would go and find out exactly where I would want to you know the story to start uh, fast forwarding so let's say for example I wanted it to start fast forwarding here I would just use the slice tool and slice there and let's say that I just wanted to slice or fast forward just this section here so I'm going to slice that okay I don't actually know but let's say this section I wanted to be uh, it okay now what I need to do is I need to use the rate stretch tool that's this one here to shrink this down so that it goes a lot faster I've found that about 15 times the normal speed is a good number to use. Okay, so how do you figure out where to shrink this down to? Well, here's what you're going to do. I'm going to use my page up key to go back to the previous cut. And you'll see it's at 306, but what you can do is right click on this and say display as frames. Okay, and it's actually frame 96. Now, if I hit page down, you'll see that I go to 720. So what I'm going to do is bring in a calculator and I'm just going to say 720 minus 96, which is 624 divided by 15 times is about 42 plus the original 96. So about 138. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go exactly to frame 138. And then I will use my rate stretch tool and just slide that or shrink it down. Then I can right click in between and just say ripple delete the gap. And so now you can see that I'm talking and then it fast forwards. Now, because the sound is fast forwarding too, it gives you a blah, 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 kind of a thing. So it sounds great. Uh, and that's exactly what you want. Now all you have to do is just make it look like the old VHS fast forward kind of a deal, right? And here's how we're going to do it. Believe it or not, I am going to use a fractal noise effect. Oh, yes, a fractal noise effect. I'm going to just drag that right here onto it. You can see that looks uh, like a typical fractal noise. And you go, how does that work? Well, the first thing you're going to do is open up appearance and set the blend mode to be overlay. So you can now see that there's an overlay of the fractal noise. Okay. And then opening up transform and axis scale, I want the Y axis scale to come down to uh, one. And I want the X axis scale to go all the way up as high as it can be, which is 10,000. Okay. So now I have those sort of lines there. Uh, and if you go from clouds to wisp, then you really have that lines look. So now if I come back and I see, you can see how it has that look. But in a real fast forward, it would kind of be moving and stuff. So what I will do is just page up to the cut. And then I will keyframe the seed. And then I will page down to the next cut. And I'll just change the seed. Maybe three. Let's try that. And we'll see how that looks. Yeah, that looks okay. I could even maybe go to five. I would just sort of play with this until I came up with a number that I was very happy with. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now, anytime you go into that fast forward, it sort of goes into black and white. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a hue, saturation, and lightness effect. And opening that up, I will just twirl down the saturation so that it essentially is all grayscale there. No color 
Yeah, now that looks that looks great. Okay, so now you say, well, how about the little fast forward arrows? Well, that's actually pretty simple. What I'm going to do is uh, under media, create a new composite shot. I'll just call it the fast forward arrow and clicking OK. It's about 30 seconds. That's fine. I will add a new plane. Click OK. If I want that plane to be a different color, of course, I could always do that. I'm just going to fill it white and that will work and now i just need to make the triangle so what i'm going to do is open up the mask tool by clicking on it and holding it it brings up a series of choices and i can either use the polygon mask tool or i could use the star mask tool either one of them will work i will use the polygon mask tool and now if i just double click it makes a polygon mask in this case it is a five-sided polygon mask but if i just take that and make it three sides then i have a triangle if i want to use the roundness effect on that or whatever i can do it no problem as soon as i am done i can turn that off open up the mask transform properties and just rotate the mask 90 degrees so that it is pointing that way and if i want i can of course uh scale that the mask shape a little bit perhaps move it over slightly if i right click on the mask and say duplicate then i can take the duplicate and slide it over and now i have two of them and understand that it is transparent so there it is okay now all i have to do is just keyframe the opacity so i'm just going to keyframe it and make it into a constant keyframe move forward about half a second which is 15 frames and i will just make that zero and again i will make that a constant keyframe i'm just going to go ahead and grab both of those and control c on my computer to copy them and i will go to the one second mark and hit control v to paste now i will grab all of them, copy them, go to the two second mark, and again, paste, grab them all, copy, I will double that two over to four, and paste, grab them all, copy, double that four over to eight, and paste, grab all of those, copy, and double that over to 16 again, and paste. So now that is literally just going to turn on and off uh, for the entire 30 seconds. Okay. Now, if I go out to the editor timeline, I can go ahead and back up to where the beginning of the fast forward happens. I can bring my fast forward arrow in. I'm going to hold the alt key just so that I don't bring in with it on the audio line, the, uh, the audio, which there is none. So I don't even want it there. Then I will use the selection tool and just drag this back so that it is only covering that piece. So now you can see that it's, you know, and then it's fast forwarding right now. I may not like that exact position of those uh, things, so I can always mess around with it. If I highlight it under controls, I can change the scale and I can, of course, change the position of it. And I can even change the opacity if I if I like, maybe make it a little bit less. OK, so now when I'm ready, then, you know, I basically set that up. But now that looks like the fast forward that I remember from the 80s and the 90s. Right. So pretty much in a nutshell, that's it. Obviously, you can add other things if you like. You can mess around with this some more. Uh, but basically, that's the basics of it. So if you uh, if you like this kind of video, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon for notifications. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.